what's up guys John from the game tinker here today we are going to build a PS Vita dock and um, here are the parts we are going to need it's, um, so you're gonna need a Bluetooth adapter um, for audio so what I got is this TP link this is the product that I got got everything on Amazon this is a uh, Bluetooth 4.0 and it's a really small dongle. So I got that. Got the Raspberry Pi Model 3B Plus. This has Wi-Fi and everything built on. And then um, you don't necessarily need a case, but I had this one um, already in my closet. And this is from a kit that I got. And it is a Raspberry Pi um, a premium enclosure is what they call premium enclosure. It's plastic, so um, you can, if you want this case, you can get it on rsonline.com, and it's just a simple case that holds it. So it's got little rubber feet on it. Maybe that's the premium part. I don't know. And um, in that kit, I also got the Raspberry Pi heatsink kit. Um, this probably isn't needed for this particular project, but since I have them, I'm going to go ahead and use them. Um, you never know. It's better to have it on there and not need it than to need it and not have it. So, uh, with that being said, basically, um, all you need to do is you need to flash over the operating system for this setup, which is called um, PS Vita Doc Pi. And um, I will leave the description uh, in the description below. I will leave the uh, the link for that. And in the box, you get the Raspberry Pi with all the I/O and all that stuff. It's all good. Uh, this is super easy to install. You just put it in here, and it's done. It just snaps in. This one looks like. Okay, it goes like this. Maybe? Maybe? Do I know what I'm doing? Nope. I do not. There we go. Just like that. Okay, now that we got that. Open the heat sinks. Maybe if I can get in the damn bag. Um, if you are real anal about it, you could go ahead and clean this chip here and this chip here with some isopropyl, but I'm not really caring. I'm just going to take a straight edge and let's get this one on first. Take it like that. And it doesn't matter how you really place it, whether the fins go this way or this way, it doesn't matter. You're not going to see it anyway. It's going to be in the case. You don't want to put too much pressure on that. And some kits come with a third heat sink and that'll actually go on the bottom of the board on the CPU. This one didn't have one. It's just got the Wi-Fi chip and um, I guess this is the graphics chip. So we're just gonna go like that. Just give it a little wiggle by pressing down. That's done. So then you just take this and this will snap on. Got to do a little bit of trimming, looks like. Got to move this over just a tad. Yeah. So that is one thing you got to watch out for when you're doing heat sinks. Oh, come on. We 
we'll just take this, just move it. Oop, we'll remove it. We'll just place it off just a tiny bit. Just like that. Let's give it a little bit more room between here and there. So we'll check it again. Actually, what I might do is go ahead and remove it so that we don't have an issue. And then once I get it in, then I can place it through here. So not a big deal. See, just like that, snaps together. And we have access to that. So we're going to go ahead and take this and place it in there just like that. Now that we got that, we can put this back on. And that just goes right on top. And this is just a generic case. Um, and we're pretty much done. Um, so you just take this, put this in one of the slots here. Can I just mess this up? Not having a very good day today. There we go. Just plugs in just like that. So you get your power right here. Plug your HDMI in here. Then um, in one of these additional three slots, you can plug in your Vita. And then um, in order to do this, you will need a jailbroken uh, or modded um, PlayStation Vita and it doesn't have to necessarily be the 1000 it could be a 2000 but um, it does have to be jailbroken and after you do that um, it should work for you now I'm not doing a tutorial on how to do all that because there are much better tutorials on there so I will post links to those down below um, one is Mr. Mario. He is an excellent person to explain this kind of stuff. So I am going to post that video down below. As well as a more informative um, breakdown on how to build the PlayStation Vita dock. Um, this was just me putting mine together. I thought it would be pretty cool to show you how easy it is. Um, it's actually a very easy process. Um, even if you don't own a Vita... You can buy one, and even if it's the latest firmware, which is 3.73, you can still modify it um, for very cheap. And um, then you can build this. It's about 60 bucks. Um, I do have a pretty nice stand. Um, got all the parts on Amazon. Um, super easy, pretty cheap, and um, works like a dream. So uh, with that being said, I'd just like to thank you guys for joining me. And um, we'll see you next time, guys. Appreciate you.